Hey guys, it's Kristen. So today I'm getting my sutures out and I'm really excited but I'm also like terrified because I haven't seen my fingers since before the surgery so I have no idea what it's going to look like and I know that I can't bend my my knuckle and stuff so I don't know. I'm like just, I'm just anxious to see what it's going to look like. So I'm at my doctor's office and I'm just sitting in the parking lot because I'm a few minutes early but I'm really nervous because... If I even touch my finger, like, on the outside, it kind of hurts a little bit. So the thought of them, like, ripping the bandage off and then taking the sutures out, I'm just, like, ooh, trying to prepare myself because I know that's going to hurt. And I really, oh, it's making me sick to my stomach just thinking about it. I don't know. So wish me luck. So I'm just waiting for the nurse or whoever to come and take the bandage off. I'm really nervous. So I just got back from the doctors and this thing is still on, but it's smaller. I don't know if you can kind of tell it's smaller and I can kind of bend my knuckle a little bit. Like it's hard, but I'm able to now take normal showers. I just can't soak my finger, but the worst part, like my finger is throbbing right now. So when she was taking the sutures out, there was two of them. Hold on. If you guys get queasy, skip forward 10 seconds. Two of the sutures got like stuck in my skin pretty much. And so she had to like dig the um, tweezers into my skin and yank it up so like she could cut the sutures. I was like, oh my God, like please stop. It hurts so bad. So now there's like four spots on my finger that's bleeding. This stupid thing is staying on for approximately four weeks, possibly more depending on what it looks like after. So yay for this. I can't even wait. Hey, so it's Tuesday morning and I'm editing, you can kind of see I'm editing a video right there. Um, and I've been having a really bad couple of weeks, like, not with my personal life necessarily, but like stuff going on in my life, I guess. I don't want to go into too much detail, but it's been like really hard and I've been trying not to like be negative on any social media or like talk about it in the videos, but I'm like really struggling like a lot. And I just got the best news. Well, it's not anything to do with that, but it's going to help me mentally. Um, Matt just found out, <laughs> he's not happy about it, but I'm so excited. He just found out that he got moved to a different job site. And it's really close to our house and he's going to be working from four in the afternoon till midnight, which sucks for him, but I get him all day. So all day he's going to be home with me and I'm so excited because like mentally I'm, I'm struggling with this thing that's going on. So to have him like with me and like be supportive and like I can, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. Ah! Today is Thursday, which is exactly two weeks since I've had my surgery. Just got out of the shower. For the last, like, I don't know, two weeks pretty much, I've had to wear a freaking bag on my hand and it's been miserable. And now I get to take it off and just feeling that warm water on my finger and just like cleaning it off and stuff. Oh my God, it feels so good. But now I'm having this problem where the skin on my finger is peeling. I'm so sorry, no, that's disgusting. It's like when you have a sunburn and then, you know, like the next day, like skin is just kind of like peeling off of you. And like, you know how you can like roll, like let's say it's on your back or your shoulder and you roll your hand over it and it just like comes off. Yeah, that's what it's doing. It's really, I'm sorry. This like, I feel like this vlog is disgusting. <laughs> it's got like this disgusting theme right now, but that's what's happening. Right now I have, um, I've been putting lotion on, but now I have um, coconut oil on it. So I'm going to just saturate the crap out of my finger with, um, it's pretty much just the back that's peeling. This is what it looks like now. It looks, still looks, dis like from a distance, it looks like a disgusting worm or something. I don't know. Um, so it's still pretty swollen. Oh gosh. And I, I have to like, it's like click my knuckle to make it bend. Like it, it wants to stay straight because I had it in that cast thing for so long, but at least it's like fairly straight. It's still like swollen and nasty looking. So I can bend it to about there right now. And that's a little bit sore doing that. So I have to keep like doing exercises to bend it. But this is where we're at two weeks after surgery. 
So yesterday was Saturday and Matt and I had a Friendsgiving, which was really fun. I didn't record anything though because a lot of the people there, they're not really big on social media like at all. So they don't really like being filmed and like post stuff posted online. So I just thought I'll just, it'll be a night off from vlogging. And I don't know if you can tell, but my voice is a little bit deeper and that's because I woke up this morning with my throat super sore felt like I swallowed a rock or something I don't even know it might be allergies still because the weather I don't know if you can see like the weather is super nice still like there's no snow and I'm actually like dying in the sweater right now um, so it might be allergies because it's like really stuffed up like all through here My head is all foggy and crap, but I don't know I'm really hoping I'm not sick because we're about to leave in less it like one two four days I think yeah, oh my god four days So we're leaving in four days to drive across across see can't talk <laughs> We're leaving in four days to drive across country again This will be like the ninth time or something that I've done this um, But we're driving back to Rochester, New York to visit family for Thanksgiving um, but we're gonna stop in Canada first to visit my family and I'm so excited So I just really hope that this is allergies because I don't want to be sick while we're driving for two straight days and then trying to visit family and she has kids and I don't want to get them sick So let's just hope it's allergies. So I just got out of the shower after dyeing my hair and My finger looks really weird like it's kind of creeping me out Again, if you get nauseous or don't like kind of gross stuff, skip forward 10 seconds. Now my finger looks like a snake skin being shed. This is actually hair dyed, not a bruise. But this is all skin that's just peeling off. This is what it looks like right now. And yeah, it looks really disgusting. I mean, look at the end of my finger. This is totally disgusting. It's my whole entire nail and all the skin around it. It's just peeling everywhere. All right guys, so that's it for today's vlog. Hopefully you liked it. I know it was really disgusting and gross, um, but if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more vlogs from me, don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you later. Peace.